see that it was raining already this night torrentially and uh, it's cold a little bit but on the other side it is uh, very empty almost no tourists anymore and uh, so this gives a special atmosphere as you see this is the volcano that erupted many times in history and was the reason for the biggest eruption in recorded history which was 1370 before Christ and which probably ended the Minoan culture. Now it's still smoking and uh, if you go there and dig a, a few inches deep the earth is so hot that you can't stick your finger on it. So today I want to talk about something that should be the very most important thing of a healer to know how to relate to disease. What is disease? And if you talk to a modern American doctor, it's something that needs to be fixing some mechanical issue, some arterial to be blocked or needs to be uh, uh, widened or some blood pressure too high and needs to be lowered. And uh, if you talk to somebody who is homeopathic or holistic, he will tell you, well, we can fix it. We can fix it with other methods than the allopath. We fix it with some herbs, with some homeopathy, with some natural ingredients. Well, then if you talk to somebody who is more religiously minded, maybe a faithful uh, Islamic Muslim, and he would say, well, it's the kismet, it's your kismet, it's something that you uh, cannot change because God Allah, has, has basically destined you to have this, uh, this suffering, this disease, this life. If you talk to a uh, Indian Muslim, uh, Hindu, he will tell you, well, it's your karma, you did something wrong in your last lifetime, and, and so on. If you have somebody who believes in Dalke and his idea about disease as message, then he'll tell you, well, you have this tinnitus because you don't want to hear something, or you have this heart problem because your heart is not uh, opening to other people, and so on. So what you can see, the same, the same pattern is everywhere. It's a cause and effect thinking. And this cause and effect thinking is really a very limited linear way of seeing things. So, also modern, really uh, successful science like like physics and engineering, they have given up thinking and looking for causes long ago. They are looking for laws, things that are repeatable, or at least statistically repeatable. So. Really, science today cannot answer causes for the most important things. Why are two bodies attracting each other? Why is there gravitation? Why is electricity or energy flowing if there's a potential a difference in voltage? <coughs> or why is a radioactive element decaying at a certain moment? They cannot tell you. They have no cause, but they know the laws the timings, the quantities, the relationships. So really for me it's important to tell you, it's important to give up this cause and effect thinking because this is really a very limited linear way of seeing things. So now what's the other possibility? It's a possibility of seeing coincidences of seeing facts, of seeing uh, qualitative, qualitative um, statistical repeat repeatability. And then sticking to Hahnemann's, the founder of homeopathy principle, not to look for theories, not to give theories of a linear kind. And if you do this, <coughs> you see, for example, that the core system is not giving you reasons. Don't interpret the results of the evaluation as reasons, but as facts that if you change them, if you give make some changes, there will be 
the change in the situation in the health of the person and you can change it either with communication, with informing a bracelet, with informing some globally, with giving an EMDR session. But don't tell the client that this is the cause of your disease because this is doing the opposite. It's, it's stabilizing the disease, it's giving more a, a reason for the disease and it will make it more likely that the disease will stay. So don't don't make this, this this mistake to give a cause, but say this is something that needs some changes. And if you change something there, it's like a gate, it's a door, it's an openness where you can make changes in your life and get into a daily situation, position with your life again. And this is the reason.